and welcome back everyone to another Hot Toys review. Uh, this time we're going to be reviewing the Two-Face Harvey Dent figure from the Dark Knight Hot Toys figure. So the box looks pretty cool. You got the Sideshow logo on the top corner and half and half of course. Not much on the back. Well, you got some words. It says blah blah blah. So I don't know. I guess that's the Joker. This vibes is what I'm getting from that. And like I said a million times before, I don't like these style of boxes because they tear easily. And they just, they're not as cool as the ones where you just take off the front cover. And they're just harder to work with. And here you have a first look at the figure inside the box. Here you have all the accessories for the Hot Toys Harvey Dent figure. Um, starting out with the revolver here. Very metallic paintwork design and was a ton of functionality. Um, so the hammer actually goes back and forward. And as you see, this actually spins, the chamber spins. And not only that, but the chamber actually pops out and can still spin. And it looks like you got, you can barely see them, but you got silver bullets painted inside. So that's really cool. And one thing to be careful of is that this can actually fall out, like it all comes apart. So you can actually take out this part right here and see all the details. And this part actually comes out too. So, and then you just pop it back in like so. And you got some nice texture work and small details on the grip. And then of course you have the classic uh, a glass of alcohol that he was drinking in the scene when he was in the bar. You know, it makes it look like there's alcohol in there. It's got some of that nice glass work detail. Then you have the famous Harvey Dent pen. So the pen to vote for Harvey Dent says, I believe in Harvey Dent. And you got a picture of the flag. And what's really cool is you actually have details on the back. You have what looks like a pen that you could pin onto a shirt or something like that. Not 100% 3D, but it's still raised and has enough 3D effect to where it's really a nice touch. Instead of it just being a blank backside. And then you actually get three coins. On one side of the coin, they're clean, no damage. And then on the other side, just like in the movie, after he got burned by the fire, there's damage on the other side. So that he can decide who his next victim is. And so really iconics include that. And I think they include three in, in case you lose one because they're just so small. And then you also get three extra hands here. So you have a lot of details on these hands actually. You have veins and some nice skin texture that makes it look very real. More detailed than many Hot Toys hands have, I would say. Um, so that's pretty cool. These two are pretty much the same, just right and left. Um, but they're, yeah, they're mostly the same. And then this is actually the hand you use uh, to hold the coin. So what you do is you take the coin and that little spot right there, you put the coin there. And then there you have it. It's pretty secure, usually won't fall out. And looks pretty cool. The only complaint I have is that you can actually see the seam where the thumb is, I guess, glued or attached on here, which is really odd because unless it's articulated, I'm not really sure why that would be necessary. Like, why didn't they just, you know, sculpt it together? It's kind of, unless it was just the way of producing it, there wasn't any other way. A hand to hold the pistol. So you got nice details there. And then you have a hand to hold a glass of alcohol. Now lastly you have the stand which is just a standard hook style. And got some cool artwork from the Dark Knight on there. With the coin front and center. And a nice metal nameplate which y'all know I love. I love those and I wish there was more of those being done. Alright and taking our first look at the figure here. Um, right off the bat, you have some nice tailoring work. Um, then moving on to the head sculpt. So starting with the head sculpt, you have a lot of nice details 
this side definitely looks very good to me. So one thing to note is that my head sculpt might look slightly different than yours because I actually did some paint work to darken some of the areas of the exposed jaw areas and the teeth and the muscles. I added some gloss paint, I darkened it, so this is not exactly what it'll look like when you first open it. And to be honest, I was kind of disappointed because when I first opened it, this was a lot lighter and there was hardly any gloss work. And it just looked so flat. It didn't really look like the, the promotional photos as advertised. So I was really surprised because that's not usually how Hot Toys figures are. They usually look almost exactly like they do in the photos. As far as the normal side of the face, I think it looks perfect. I have no complaints. The skin texture is just right. Uh, it looks just like the actor Aaron Eckhart, otherwise known as Harvey Dent in the movie. Um, yeah, I think the likeness is definitely spot on. I think the hair, the paintwork, the sculpting, everything just looks great. Really, really well done. And but you have the burns on the back of the head and then the burns on the side. And again, I added some gloss to this. Some gloss might have already been there. I can't remember which was which anymore, but um, the really cool thing is the eye. The exposed eye has a lot of uh, details. You can kind of see the blood vessels around it and the teeth and all that stuff. One thing I would say is I kind of wish the teeth were a little bit deeper. It makes it look kind of, kind of fake, like you can tell it's sculpted. If the teeth were just a little bit farther in the mouth, I feel like it would look a little bit more realistic. Like there should be maybe more depth in this exposed area. And like I said, I painted it to look darker and added gloss effects to just give it the shine that it had in the movie. Um, but yeah, it's it's not bad. It's definitely better than the 1.0 one, one version. Uh, and then of course you have the tie, which is you know actually tied up and stuff like that. You got details on the back. You have a string just like on the back of a real tie where they have where they stop the smaller part from moving forward. The only issue with the tie is sometimes it kind of sticks up and it's hard to make the tie stay down. You got really nice tailing work on the suit. You got buttons that are actually oh, they're glued on and they are functional so you could unbutton this shirt if you wanted to. And you have burns on this side of the suit which is a nice kind of rubbery plastic material that adds nice texture to it. And again, the tailing work is always really impressive with Hot Toys whenever they do this sort of thing. Um, the burns continue on the bottom and on the sides. And these pockets are actually functional, so you can put things inside the pockets. Now the front pocket, I'm not so sure. No, it doesn't feel like it. You have more buttons on the side here. Uh, it's not functional, so you can't button up the suit and again the tailoring is really well done on this side form fitting you got more buttons on the side here and then the white undershirt continues as a sleeve right there and for the belt this is a die cast piece it feels like and i believe the belt is actually functional so you could actually adjust it it's like a probably a pleather material i'm guessing and then the pants of course functional this is a velcro and the belt loops and all that stuff the pockets are actually real they're functional and then i believe there's pockets on the back yeah i mean just that's crazy to me how hot toys you don't even see that part but they just put the details there anyways um and then again the tailoring continues and then you have the shoes the shoes aren't bad i feel like they have some of a somewhat of a plastic appearance to them but at the same time I mean, they probably were shiny in the movie, so it has the shiny appearance you would expect. And then you have some texturing on the bottom of the shoes. Oh, it's really cool. I just realized there's actually real socks on this. So that's really impressive. Real fabric socks. So that's pretty cool. So in terms of articulation, starting with the head sculpt, um, you can move the head 360, of course. You can move the head forward about there and you can move the head back about there and you can tilt the head that way and that way not too far and um, the shoulders since this part has kind of this rubbery material on it it doesn't go up as much and about that far that way and then 
that far back for the shoulder, for the arm. It is double jointed, so you can actually push the arm pretty far. And you can only go back about as far as you would expect. Now this arm might be different, so let's see. No, it's about the same. It's probably the undershirt and this jacket that kind of limits how much you move the arm. But this one can move up, it looks like, slightly more than the other one. And slightly back more, because there's not that rubbery material. Oh, wow, actually, you know, you can go a lot farther back than I expected. And then you can go up about that much. And yeah, just keep in mind, you're going to wrinkle the suit when you do that. Um, in terms of the chest and the stomach, you can actually bend pretty far forward. And pretty far back. And of course you can twist like all the way basically. I mean look at that. Okay, and then see there's a joint right here too in between the stomach and the chest that can also swivel and move. So you can like push side to side like so and forward and back. And then in terms of the hips, you can push the leg up, I would imagine pretty far, 90 degrees. And then back, not not really far at all. And then with the knees are ratcheted and they're double jointed so you can push them back really far. And about forward that far. Now with the feet, um, you can actually push them down all very far. And then you can push them up and side to side. Of course 360. So in terms of what I think about this figure overall, um, I'm a huge fan of the Dark Knight. I love the whole Dark Knight trilogy. The Dark Knight is probably one of my favorite films of all time. I don't know where it is on like the top five or ten list, but definitely one of my favorite movies that I've watched probably 20 times or more. Um, so naturally I'm drawn to this figure and this character. Um, I want to keep expanding my Dark Knight collection and hopefully picking up some of the other ones from the line. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed that they'll reissue some of them. And so, yeah, I mean, this isn't, like, my favorite character of all time from, like, The Dark Knight, necessarily. Obviously, it'd be Heath Ledger's Joker and the Batman. Um, but I wanted to get this figure because I just, I like The Dark Knight. And I, I also, the detail on the uh, in the pictures of the burns and all of that stuff just drew my attention right away. I was like, wow, if there's any character to really make interesting with a head sculpt, it would be this character of Harvey Two-Face because the burns are just so extensive. There's so many details. There's so many ways Hot Toys can make that look amazing. And since they're so good at head sculpts in general, I was excited to just have this in hand and to see what they could do with burns and, you know, just decayed face and all that stuff and just damage and whatnot. And so, to be honest, I was slightly disappointed when I first opened it up before I did the paintwork on it because it just didn't really quite look like the photos had look, made it look like. Um, there wasn't as much gloss, it wasn't as high contrast. It's almost like um, it's almost like the colors were too light and too bright. They just didn't have that realistic look that I was hoping for or expecting with a Hot Toys figure. Um, so that's kind of a letdown on that. I would say like that would be the first negative I have for this figure is the head sculpt on the unburned side, the normal face without any damage, looks great, perfect, spot on, looks like the actor, and just has that high quality you would expect. But the the part of the face with the burns just did not live up to the photos that I saw of the figure. And, and I feel like if you're going to pay this kind of price for a figure like this, then you shouldn't have to do your own paint work and do your own modifications. You should be able to buy the figure and pay that price and get the figure that is advertised in the photos. Now, you know, that's that's why I list it as a negative. Now, am I going to say it ruins the figure? No, I still would buy it either way, and I would still make the custom paint work that I did because uh, the base is there. So um, I still think Hot Toys is a great company. I still think they make amazing figures. I just think for this specific part of the head sculpt, specifically the exposed part of the jaw, I just think it was a bit of a letdown. Um, but everything else I think is great. The tailoring of the suit is amazing. Yeah, the, the way the burns continue on the suit and the way it's textured and is still flexible is really well done. Um, of 
course, Hot Toys always, when they do suits, they just have great tailoring work, functional pockets, uh, buttons that look like they work, all of that stuff, all those details are amazing. Still has flexibility, um, the tie and everything, uh, the belt, all that stuff. It's just great work. The revolver going above and beyond, that was amazing how they made the hammer be able to cock back and the, you know, the loader be able to come out and all that stuff is great. The metallic look to it makes it look like it's made of real metal. Uh, the hands have extra details that, you know, are just make it look extremely realistic, you know, with the veins and the texture and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, um, those are all definitely the positives. Jumping back to the negatives, I think the only other negative for me is the, the shoes look kind of plastic you look kind of fake. Uh, the shoelaces, you know, especially, they're just kind of sculpted on there. Um, of course, I would probably prefer real shoelaces. They've done that on other figures. Um, and they've also made uh, leather boots for other figures with pleather or something like that, some type of material for the Jedi. So, you know, I think that would have been probably a better approach. Um, it's a really cool how they had real socks, so that is awesome. Um, um, in terms of everything else, um, I think this is a great figure. Oh, yeah, it's unfortunate that, that the paint apps on the face weren't as good for the burns. Um, but just on really one part, just on the jaw, the exposed parts. But other than that, I think this figure is worth it. If you love the Dark Knight and you like this character, I think you would enjoy this figure. And so I would highly recommend getting this figure if you're a fan of the Dark Knight. I do not regret buying it. I'm glad to have it in the Christopher Nolan collection and I hope to continue expanding that collection. Um, but I'd like to hear your opinion, so get, go ahead and comment below, and until the next video.